What's up everybody? We're at the house today. Uh, we're doing something a little bit different as you can probably tell by the title of the video but hopefully it's something that might be helpful to some of you guys uh, but we've been doing a lot of beach fishing lately. Um, we want to keep doing some more of that hopefully in a bunch of new places um, but carrying everything is not that fun so <laughs> Uh, the obvious solution is to get some sort of beach card or whatever. So I was looking um, and A, either too expensive for what it is in my opinion, or B, didn't really suit what I was looking for. Uh, so we're going to take a crack at building our own. Um, so let me just show you what we got. Alright, so here's what we're working with. We're building it for to be able to hold this. This is an Arctic 65 quart. Uh, so we got a bunch of PVC, a bunch of fittings, we got some tires, um, and all that good stuff. And we got our saw set up. So we're going to get to building. I'm going to set up the, the camera, do a little time lapse and everything. Um, I got a basic idea in my head, but um, we're just going to kind of do as we go. So let's get to it. Hey guys, I just want to check back in here uh, and go over some details to help you out a little bit. Uh, I'm trying to hurry because it doesn't really look like it on the camera, but it is starting to get a little dark. So I'm <laughs> racing against the light here. No pun intended. But <laughs> so we got for the axle specifically, because that's probably the hardest part. So I got this 5 8 threaded rod, a piece of half inch schedule 40 PVC. And then I got these little one inch to half inch uh, PVC adapters and so what I think I'm gonna do is um, I'll show you in a second but we got the four ways down there where I'm gonna put the axle so we're gonna put the axle through there because 5 8 is what um, the size of the hub for the tires that I got and then I'm gonna put this piece on the four way and then I'm gonna cut a small piece of the half inch PVC 
and stick it through here. And the reason that I'm doing that is so that it stays centered um, throughout there because this is just going to be dangling around in the one inch PVC, if not. Um, so I'm going to put a small piece of that. We're going to run this through there and then run this through there. Now this is 5 eighths threaded rod, like I said, and this is only half inch PVC. So um, what you're going to need to do, which it'll be not too bad because it's just going to be a little short piece, but um, if you have a 5 eighths drill bit, that would be even better. Uh, all I have is a half inch, so I'm just going to take it and you know, you just ream it around at an angle, try to get it big enough so that you can shove this in there. Um, and then all the rest of it is just one inch schedule 40 PVC um, and a whole bunch of fittings and stuff. Um, I'll do a whole list of everything that I used at the end. Um, if you do want to build one, you know, exactly like this or you can make changes or whatever uh, but I'll have a list so that it's easy to be able to get everything um, and pro tip uh, if you are doing this and you didn't know um, you can find these like packs of fittings uh, and they're cheaper if you buy them in a pack because you're gonna need a bunch of them rather than buying individual ones so you can save a few bucks doing that but uh, I think I'm gonna set the time-lapse back up uh, and keep working because like I said we're in a hurry but it's coming along good so let's see how it goes all right so we got one side through there you can see we got the half inch PVC inside this um, reducer and then we finally got this through there and now that it's in there you can kind of screw it on and off for however far that you need it for the hub of the tire which I'm gonna measure so that I can go ahead and get a measurement to cut this piece and have enough for both sides and then get this other piece on there. Oh, we're gonna keep working. What's up everybody it's been a few days um i think the last thing that happened was we were working on it in the dark uh we got it mostly done um and i think the footage was still okay we had a little bit of light but um we haven't glued it yet i haven't decided if i wanted to glue it before we try to take it out or not yet um the reasoning is because i kind of want to try it so that if we want to make any changes, it's easy, but I also don't want it to fall apart while we're using it, because that'd be unfortunate. But um, it seems like it's kind of sturdy, so it might work. Uh, and the, also the only thing that we haven't done yet is we haven't put rod holders on it yet. Um, I think I have an idea on how I want to do that. Um, and also I know that I said I was going to put a list of all the materials. Um, since it's not quite done yet i think i'm gonna wait and do it on the next one and so we'll do an updated video like taking it out trying it i'll put the list and everything all the materials we needed all that good stuff but yeah let's let's take a look all right so here we go so we got it's big enough for the cooler i'll put that in there in a second so you can see that um and then it's got some 
little hangers on the side for bags and chairs or whatnot. Um, other than that, it's pretty simple. So I'll put the stuff on there so we can see it all loaded up. And then we'll see you then. All right, we got it mostly loaded down. Cooler, chairs, tackle bag. Um, obviously we don't have the rods on yet because we don't have the rod holders. Um, and then, you know, other random stuff that we'll need. But this is like the heavy stuff, so I kind of wanted to try it out a little bit. So here she is with everything. It, um, I mean, you can tell because it's not glued that stuff moves around a little bit, but it moves just fine. Um, so I think it'll work good. If anything ends up not working or I make any changes or anything, obviously I'll update you on the next one. Um, but yeah, I think it turned out pretty good for the first, first iteration. I'm sure I'll make some changes. I'm sure eventually maybe even build a different one with any of the changes that I wanted to make. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about that, but there it is. Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for this one. Um, I hope it was helpful. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And once we take it out fishing, then we'll make an updated video. But thank you guys. And whether you're in the woods or on the water, keep racing to your next adventure. And we'll see you then.